Pelham's Pillar. Pelham's Pillar. Well, I've never heard of that before. I haven't, but I know one thing. Now, <laughs> now we know it belonged to a lord. So, yeah, but if the writing was clear, which it isn't, which it's definitely uh, not. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Caster Church. Yeah, I'll uh, bring you back uh, in one sec. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, everybody. We'll uh, we'll just carry on now. Anyway, this is the church at, um, at Caister, like I said, outside. So we're going to take a walk around uh, the actual wonderful church. The vicar's here, which is brilliant. Um, and she is an absolutely lovely lady. Now, we have just come across something in a field, only to find out uh, it's called Pelham's Pillar. Now, apparently from what I have just been told by one of the ladies here in the churches, Pelham's Pillar is one of the highest points in Lincolnshire. And if you draw a line from the top of Pelham's Pillar, um, it will actually be in line with Russia. A little bit of information for you on that, even though I did say uh, when I was filming it, what, what is it? Because I did not know. And I thought I'll ask one of the locals and it belongs to somebody who was a lord, Lord Chambers. I think that's what um, his name is, Lord Chambers. So that little piece of information about that Pelham's Pillar for you, if anybody has never been, I just want to promise you, we've had to walk through a wood, muck it up my clean clothes yet again, but just when you get in the wood, there's an actual great big drop as well. It goes like in a great big circle. And because it goes around in a circle, it's got like a, a five or six foot drop into the middle of it. Now, I don't know what that's all about. I've got no idea at all because I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> now, I have managed to take a picture of the plaque, which is on Pelham's Pillar. And I'm not going to lie, I cannot make it out, but it does say Lord something on it. Well, now, obviously, the lady um, who I've just been talking to, as explained, was right behind me, further down where Keely is. Um, obviously, she's explained, uh, obviously, a bit about it. And that's how I managed to get the information about it being the highest point in Lincolnshire. Now, that is something that we wouldn't normally come across, but you... As a well, if you are a car driver, then you'll probably understand that when you're driving, you can't really be looking for different things apart from what's ahead of you. But luckily, when your passenger's looking around and she spots something very, very tall, and uh, yeah, so that's how we managed to end up trying to find it. Now, the only problem is parking, you've had to park across the road to, uh, to actually get to it. And that's why I said you've got to walk through a wood to actually go near it. But yeah, what a stunning, lovely church this one here is in Caister. We will take a walk around outside as well, I promise. Or I'll certainly promise and do my best anyway. It's just that I twisted my ankle going through all the wood on some brambles and stuff, so my ankle's just a bit... Uh, <laughs> dodgy at the moment but I've got to be honest I like what I'm seeing in this church I do like what I'm seeing in here it's gorgeous but it is a really nice church it's lovely it really is and these pipe organs how stunning they are Um, uh, yeah, and one of the ladies was also saying that at one point you could actually go up towards the bell tower. But unfortunately, uh, the ladders aren't safe anymore and they're not allowing anybody up, which is totally understandable due to the safety aspects. But I do like the roof as well on this one. It's totally different. You can, I don't know if you'd be able to see that properly, actually. If I just come round here and hold the camera further up, and you can see like patterns and stuff on. Absolutely gorgeous. 
so so different and this is what i said about churches now just over in the background there's a board so we are going to take a look and show that as well because i don't know what's on it but it looks interesting Look at that, how stunning that is. That is gorgeous. Look at that. I haven't seen one of them as big as that anyway in a church. And I love the windows. This, this is what I say about stained glass windows and stuff. They all tell their own story. But they are so beautiful, just take a quick look at as well. They really are. Well, at least we found out what that big pillar is anyway. That's a, an added bonus today, Pelham's Pillar. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. I was taking a picture of that. Lovely. That's the bells going. Sound lovely bells. Church bells. Really do. <laughs> Children's corner. Do you know you see a lot more of them in churches now? Um, if I'm going to be honest, you really do. A little play area or. Um, a kiddie's corner, you know, to while the parents are saying prayers and stuff. All right, St. Peter and St. Paul. So, obviously, see if we can just come further in there. No, you're all right. I'm just going here. You're all right. So, I get this information. <laughs> Do apologize. Well, just pause the video if you need to read this anyway. Bring you back in a sec. Um, yeah, when I said about the Pelham's Philip, um, it's Lord Yarborough. It was my mistake. Um, I've just spoke with a lady, and it's Lord Yarborough. Um, and apparently, some certain times in the summer months, he actually opens it for. Yeah, we actually opened it for people um, to actually climb the tower. Well, that's in the summer months. So, so I just double check that actually with that lady because it's just nice to just double check and then at least, and then at least we know, and then if we decide to to go as well. So I got it wrong anyway, everybody. I got it wrong. Yeah, what a nice church. Very, very nice. I'll be honest. Stunning. Very stunning. Ah.
I'll take a quick picture of these uh, statues. That's it. There's that. Now we'll go take a look at down this bottom here. <coughs> oh, I didn't see that angel at that top. There's an angel just up there. You'd be able to see that there. Just there. How oh, beautiful that stands out as well. But yeah, what a beautiful font this is. It's gorgeous. It's different. It's very, very different, but still nice though. bits down here as well. Oh wow, that's, uh, that's different. Very, very different. Hmm. Yeah, so there's something in there. It's like a spear of some kind. So I said, you always find something different. Oh, it's a whip. Okay, 1934. Well, it's a whip. Huh. Tough for now. I expect to find a whip. See what this is then. Oh, I didn't see this down here. Oh, it's a great big bell. Oh, isn't this really, really nice? Let me just get that hammer for a minute. Doesn't that sound absolutely beautiful? <laughs> absolutely wonderful. Swear to God. Right, so anyway...
I'm going to take a walk outside, take a look around this wonderful church from the outside, because it definitely is a beautiful church on the inside. Absolutely gorgeous church it is. Oh, it's another lovely church to put on the channel. And another wonderful church to, to see. Now, we didn't know if a church was going to be open today or not. It's one thing we did not know. But I'm glad it is. And obviously the vicar's here as well, which is wonderful. But yeah, stunning. I do like the pillars. Really nice. Right, I'm going to take a walk on the outside. I think Kaylee looks like she's falling asleep. Yeah, lovely. Stunning. Look at that. Alright. Oh, oh, the lights are up there now. You might be able to see... Oh, too late. <laughs> I was going to say you might be able to see that angel a little bit better. But uh, anyway, not to worry. So, yeah, so let's take a walk on the outside. Um and see how wonderful it is but it is a wonderful church and i'm glad we had that opportunity today to uh, pop in and take a bit of a look and that's the vicar watch just walked past bless her Alright, come on, we'll take a walk around the church now, since we haven't had a proper walk around it. Might as well. I was going to say, has this one got a clock on it? But yeah, it has. <laughs> yeah, lovely inside. So anyway, now we know about that um, big thing that we found. Uh, like I said, we did not know what it was. Obviously now we've been told what it is, which is brilliant. So, uh, <laughs> hey, it takes you around the church, doesn't it? I've got no idea. Well, I don't. Oh. All right, let me just try and take a look up this side. I'll remember it. Yeah, so that problem is it's the highest point in Lincolnshire. Like I said, did not know, but glad we do now. Absolutely glad. Uh, I think we might have to go back, back up. Alright, <laughs> bring everyone back in a minute. Yeah, it'd be right. Don't worry about it. The end of the day, it's one of them things. It's in the bells. Yeah, so we're going to walk all the way back around now. Because that takes you to wherever. I like the hand cart as well. It's over. So we'll take a look at that hand cart as well before we leave. <coughs> Be careful, these been slippy. Mode, not like mode. Uh, no choice. Well, do you want to wait there then? <laughs> well, I can't blame Keely actually. <laughs> Just stand there and uh, not to get a new train as all. Ooh, just in that. Wait a minute. 
1842. Okay. Camera. Yeah, it's a nice church for anybody to take a look inside. It's lovely. Right, we'll head to where this uh, old Ancart is now and we'll wrap this video up. <laughs> so it's a big thumbs up from me, it's a big thumbs up from Keeley and uh, we will see each and every one of you on the next one and that wind is now picking up as well. Yeah, that's what a cracking church, it's lovely. No, I know it's a school or something. <laughs> right, so I'm going to wrap it up where this hand cart is. <laughs> and as for oh, the board's just outside the gate, so I wrap it where the board is. Make life a little bit easier. Alright, let's we'll take a quick look then and then we'll wrap it where the board is <laughs> Caster in bloom now just across the road where the school is there's a plaque but I'm gonna have to come back to get that Keely. Obviously, I'll have to come back on a weekend. There's a plaque on that wall and it's got information on, but we'll have to do that obviously when the kids are now at school. <coughs> so, right, we're going to wrap it up with a board, um, which is just outside the gate here. Let's put the camera down for a second and uh, we'll wrap it up with the board. So right, big thumbs up from me, big thumbs up from Keely, and we'll see each and every one of you on the next one. So right, bye for now.